Now, NASA made history as one of its probes flew past, flew past Pluto. Joining us now, Kala Cofield from Space.com. I am told that this Pluto flyby really created quite a buzz and that a lot of people were really interested and intrigued. It sort of captured the American imagination. Is that true? Oh, people are thrilled all over the world. I mean, Pluto is a favorite, whether you call it a planet or a dwarf planet. It is a very beloved member of our solar system. And we have this family portrait of, you know, the other eight planets and the major members. And it's, it's like this member Pluto, it, its face has just been blurry. You know, the best photos we've had of it are just these gray smudges. Now we're seeing the surface for the first time. What did it tell you? Are the mountains and... We're seeing, well, there's this big heart shape that's the really dominant feature, this, this cleared out area, which is suggesting there's some geologic activity. There's this darker region on the bottom. People are calling it the whale. It looks like it has a little bit of a tail. Uh, it's moon Karen. We're seeing a lot of chasms and craters, and that was really unexpected. You sound genuinely excited. <laughs> I mean, you do. I'm, thrilled. Last night, NASA TV was broadcasting from Mission Control when they got the signal back that everything had gone off the way it was supposed to. And I was on the edge of, I was about to cry. It no, was amazing. No, I was. no, I don't believe them. I love it. Oh, there were you definitely be tears me. being shed. We're, we're, un, <laughs> we're, we're unveiling a new world, but it's in our own cosmic home. You were, you, know? you were about to say in our own backyard, and it's not. <laughs> it's three billion Cosmically miles away. Cosmically speaking, it's, it's relatively close. All right, let me give you the other side of the coin, which I have heard. Sure. What about those people who say, we spent millions of dollars getting to Pluto for a couple of pictures. We could have spent that more realistically back here at home on the poor. And you say what? I say the return on investment from any NASA mission is so huge. On the science side, I mean, this is, it's part of a bigger puzzle about where we came from, if there's life elsewhere in the universe, these big questions that, you know, get us out of bed in the morning. I mean, this is what makes life worth living. But absolutely, these NASA missions are also, they're incredible for the American economy. They're incredible for our culture. I mean, America is the only country now that has sent a probe uh, to see all eight planets and our largest dwarf planet. I mean, that's that's amazing. That's a great okay. point of pride. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going <laughs> to knock that. Have I I'm convinced not going to do that. Yeah. Actually, you have. Yes. Great. Uh, you turned me on to this. Uh, Kala, thank you very much thank for joining you so us. Much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Is there going to be another occasion when you get excited by Pluto or somebody uh, or ca some moon or something? There's all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> Check out space.com. Ah, there you have it. <laughs> all right. Up next.